The Acme or Ed Wood editors from Plan 9 don't get a lot of YouTube coverage, so I thought I'd spend a minute and show you some of the features that are available and how to use uh, the editor because there's not a lot of documentation on it. So here I have Ed Wood, which is a Go re-implementation of the Acme editor from Plan 9. This is all running on my Mac under Plan 9 port. So I've actually hooked up the LSP language server protocol into Ed Wood here using a library that will be posted at the bottom of this video. So that, that library integrates the language server protocol so I can hook things like TypeScript into the, uh, the system and use it within Ed Wood or Acme. So just really quick, there's uh, here's some source code. It's TypeScript. I have a language server running for TypeScript and I have the integration hooked into it for Acme here. If you follow the instructions from the link I provided, you'll get a couple of useful little commands. You can just tap here that I've typed into the window bar at the top. So I can easily execute these commands, find references, give me a signature, bring me to the definition of a particular thing that I've selected, or do some completion. Uh, there's also a hover, which kind of gives you a quick overview of what you're clicking on, what you've selected. So just really quickly here, let's take a look at some of these features. So let's see what this HTTP headers thing is. So we'll just do a quick hover. Now on my MacBook, I use Control and Alt to simulate. Um, Alt is for middle button click, and Control is for right button click. So when you're running these actions here, just like in the any of the uh, bleh, any of the other actions that are in the bar, you have to do a middle click. So I'll be hitting Alt and then clicking on these things to run the different commands. So let's find out what HTTP headers is by invoking a hover. So here we go. It opens up. There's a diagnostics panel here that gives me some warnings about things in my code. But what's more interesting here is this panel here. And it gives me a sort of a hover tip of what the HTTP headers thing is. So it's an alias. Here's some optional parameters. This is TypeScript specific. But a hover could be used, for example, in Go code, and it would give similar Go-related information when you hover. So uh, that's useful information. Thank you. Now let's take a look in the code here a little bit. Um, This.http. Let's find the definition of that. So here we have the ldef. So we can alt click on this guy, and it shows me where it's declared, which is great. Um, Let's find references, for example, here. So let's see who refers to this HTTP field by alt clicking on lrefs. Up comes a little window here with the uh, the results. And these are clickable links, so you can um, right click on these and they'll bring you to the, uh, the code. Yeah, so that's the declaration. There's one use of it. So here you go, you can find the different references. All right, so let's close this window for now. And let's see, let's take a look at the signatures. So let's see if we have a signature on this push. No, oh, it doesn't look like it has a signature, okay. All right, well, that's that's pretty much what I wanted to show is that Acme Editor now has, through the language server protocol, some capabilities that it didn't have before, and this is how you can run it. Again, the link for the project to uh, hook this into your Plan 9 port Acme installation will be at the bottom of this video, and thank you for watching.